But I like the idea of having a 3D model of my head in my youth as just for posterity. <laughs>and make a song is like um, try and sort of trace an affect that's not yet an emotion so I think that like weird complicated emotions and weird frustrated desires and like truncated images like scenes that don't go anywhere like those are the features of dreams but they're also the features of like the affective terrain that I want to be like taking you to or taking myself to when I write or whatever so said it right, I had been building this loop for a long time, the loop which is kind of the backbone of the song, and it's like, it sounds really triumphal to me, and so I, I had been singing like, kind of walking around the streets like in my head, singing this refrain about like, you know, not being like too prideful to really be open to the world. And so on the vinyl, said it right, is subtitled August 22nd, 2011, um, which was the one year one year anniversary, one year after my best friend passed away. And so recording it on that day, I completely rewrote all the lyrics. And I sing about how it didn't strike me as a coincidence that like I was singing that song on that day. And uh, the whole bridge section is just a one take freestyle. It was like the first thought, best thought kind of thing. And when I finished the take and went back into the, the chorus portion or whatever, the loop portion, like, it just felt like something very, like, something very special had happened to me and to the song. And so we were like, should we do it again? Because there's parts of the singing in the bridge where it's a little bit, like, it's quite naked sounding. It's not the most elegant um, vocal performance on the record, but something about it just felt so, so perfect. It's the moment I'm most proud of on the record, probably.
Thank you.